What in the world, Bo? It's your boy, Big Low Country. Hey, let's go ahead and acknowledge the six foot six, two hundred and forty six pound elephant in the room. That is Kyle Pitts, uh, the guy that could run a four four forty. Also, want to talk about Hayden Hurst. I'm pretty sure everybody's seen the description. First of all, where are my country manners? Let me introduce myself. My name is Big Low Country. I'm just an old country boy, former football coach that loves to sit around and talk about football. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button. If you do, I promise you, I come and do the two step, the two step at your wedding one day. <laughs> but without further ado, let's go ahead and do what y'all came here for. So I want to talk about uh, what Kyle Pitts and Hayden Hurst can do in this Atlanta Falcons offense. Basically, um, I just want to go back and look at some old Tennessee Titans tape. Uh, we know that the Titans have been using those two tight end sets for a long time. Now, this play right here is from back in 2017. And guess who was the Titans tight end coach? Arthur Smith. He was the tight end coach before he became uh, the offensive coordinator. Now, one thing uh, that these, these two tight end sets really do is they get your playmakers the ball. So I want y'all to just keep your eye on John Lou Smith. And his skill set really reminds me a lot of Kyle Pitts. Um, he's actually lined up beside uh, your boy Delaney Walker. Now Delaney Walker, he's going to kind of just clear out. He's going to clear the field out. Um, this whole side of the field, he's going to gain a lot of attention because, you know, he was Delaney Walker. He was a bad man. Meanwhile, um, you're going to have your right guard and your center pull, and they're just going to be running down the field trying to find somebody to block. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful play because John Lou Smith, he's going to just uh, engage in this block. That right tackle is going to take that block over, and, uh, you know, John Lou Smith is going to have the ball in his hands, and there ain't going to be nobody 20 yards within of him. So let's take a look at it, see how it unfolds, and see, you know, how these two tight end sets can make the Atlanta Falcons very dangerous moving forward. Let's go ahead and hit that play button and see what we got going on here, Bo. Look at that. Mm, freedom up. Off to the races. Good ball. Yeah, you actually have to acknowledge that um, this play right here, uh, as well as it was drawn up, Jacksonville Jaguars still actually played it pretty well. It was just a very well uh, drawn up play. Let's take a look at it from the all 22 side, see how it unfolds and see uh, exactly how they're going to get uh, John New Smith the ball. You see that? Let's take it back one more time. So like, like we said, he's going to, uh, John New Smith, he's actually going to engage out here. And, uh, you know, one thing that you got to do whenever you're faking block, sometimes you got to go to acting school. You got to shoot your hands and go ahead and extend them arms all the way out. Act like you're actually trying to block. Then get them off of you. <laughs> and then show the quarterback your hands. And, um, you know, he's going to do a great job of doing this. Um, and, you know, once he gets the ball in his hands, he just kind of let the athleticism take over, Bo. Let's take a look at it one more time. Fully engaged. Fully engaged. Get off of me. Where's the ball? And after that, Bo is murder she wrote. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at another play and see what we got going on with these uh, uh, with these guys, Bo. So everybody and their mama been coming up to me. They've been saying, Big Low, why in the world has the Falcons red zone offense been so terrible? And, you know, I just always refer back to play calling. So another reason why these two tight end set in Atlanta could work very well um, and could make Hayden Hurst and Kyle Pitts very dangerous is because if you look at this formation that was just ran last year when Arthur Smith was the offensive coordinator for the Titans, uh, one thing that, you know, what we call this, we call this a three end set. So basically this means that these guys actually had three tight ends on the field. So you got one, two, and three. Now, you may say that this guy right here, um, he don't look like a tight end, Coach Lowe. Well, that's because he's not a tight end. He just reported eligible. If that is a tight end, he'd be eating too many cheeseburgers, bro. <laughs> so a lot of people say, well, you know, 
the Falcons, they drafted all these offensive linemen. And if y'all remember about 10 years ago when Mike Malarkey was the offensive coordinator for the Atlanta Falcons, a lot of times in short yardage situations, they would bring that extra offensive lineman in and have him report eligible um, so he could catch passes. Now, if we take a look at this play here, and, you know, once again, John New Smith, I, I hate to be the guy that spoils the movie. But John New Smith right here, he's going to catch the touchdown. But let's just watch how they kind of manipulate the line of scrimmage. And also um, watch how the defense, they, they're going to have some decisions to make. Now, another thing that we have to keep in mind as well is that uh, they're also – Worried about this big this big guy right here who who looks like he's a linebacker or a defensive end or something, Derrick Henry. But uh, in the meantime, they're going to have some decisions to make uh, after this play action goes through. So what's going to happen is uh, this this tight end he's going to actually uh, motion back like he's going to uh, do a wham, and basically a wham is whenever that tight end steps to the side and he just cracks down. Uh, normally on the first face that he sees. So uh, he's going to crack down um, on that tackle or he might try to crack down on that linebacker. Now, unfortunately, he's not going to do that in this particular situation. What he's going to do is he's going to come and he's just going to run uh, to the back of the end zone. He's going to try to find a, a crease back there. Now, what what John New Smith is going to do is he's going to run a corner route and our fullback, he's actually going to run out into the flat. And what this is, it's going to put these two guys right here in a very precarious situation because there's so much stuff going on. Next thing you know, <laughs> somebody's going to be open, Bo. And as I said before, if you got two tight ends who are first round talents, uh, that's, that, that's pretty tough to stop. So let's take a look at it and see how it unfolds. All right, so you see here, he whammed. He, he's in that wham formation. And threw that pass wide open. Touchdown. Now, one thing that I noticed uh, about this, and, and I just wanted to point out the all the, the young tight ends playing, I want you to watch this step that John New Smith takes. He's going to take this big step right here. And the reason why he takes this big step, y'all watch him right here. He's going to take a big step because he's going to he's going to cross this guy's face. Uh, the guy that's lined up right here, he's he's going to do a, a great job at crossing his face so he doesn't get jammed up, and that allows him to 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 get you know to that the corner of the end zone. And that's the same skill set that we've seen with Kyle Pitts, and we've also seen with Hayden Hurst as well. Right, so let's look at it from the all 22 angle and see how it unfolds this way. All right, so you see here. All right, so you see our cornerback and our safety, they put this cornerback in a tough situation. Also put this safety in a tough situation because now they have a few different guys that they have to cover. So now they got to worry about this guy. They got to worry about this guy. And they also have to worry about this guy. So let's take a look at it. See how it continues to unfold. All right. So you see right here that cornerback. He's telling this guy right here, make sure you pick up, make sure that you pick up that, that tight end. He, he's going to the corner. Make sure you pick him up. But unfortunately, he was, he was caught in no man's land. He had a decision to make. Touchdown. Beautiful play. Beautiful play. That's how you run that two tight end set, Bo. I love it. I love it. Let's go ahead and take a look at one more to see how this two tight end set could work out to have Hayden Hurst and Kyle Pitts looking like some beast out here, Bo. All right, I know that I know that you're probably looking at this formation right here, 
I know that's the first thing that you're probably thinking is, okay, low. so this is another two tight end set because I see two guys right here um, lined up in that tight end position. Well, I got to tell you that that's a big negative there, Ghost Rider. And the reason I say that is because if we look right here, looking on the field, there's actually three tight ends on the field, Bo. Arthur Smith has three tight ends on the field on this play as well as we're lined up in another uh, red zone situation because this guy right here, this is John New Smith, <laughs> the number one tight end on the team. Now, like I said, I know that in my opinion, him and Kyle Pitts, they have the same skill set. I think Kyle Pitts is definitely more athletic. Uh, so you have that tight end right here and you also have uh, these other two tight ends. Now, Another way that this offense uh, could definitely help Hayden Hurst and Kyle Pitts go to another level is because, you know, it's kind of what everyone's been talking about this whole offseason when we were talking about getting Kyle Pitts. It's one of those situations where people are going to have to pick the poison. And the, the reason why I say that is, is because in this situation right here, uh, we got, it, you know, it, it, it's going to be a single, it's going to be a single high safety set. What they're going to do is they're going to put John New Smith in motion. He's going to come back here uh, thinking that he might catch that swing pass. And you're also going to have, uh, you know, your two tight ends come across the field. Uh, and, you know, someone's possibly going to get open. Now, let's take a look at it and see how it unfolds. And then, uh, you know, we'll just really have a chance to break it down. So let's take a look and see what we got here. Touchdown. Beautiful play. Beautiful play. Now, what I've seen here, the first thing that I've seen is that whenever they put uh, John New Smith in motion, we see here that this cornerback right here, he followed, and they didn't shift. So that automatically let Ryan Tannehill know that it is a man-on-man -man situation. So basically... Uh, with it being a man-on-man -man situation, it's one of those cases where the defense has to pick their poison. And since they have to pick their poison, our free safety out here, you know, he's shaded a farther to the left side of the field, and he's probably having his eye on this tight end right here that's coming across the field. So since, since he's watching that tight end, we got our other tight end right here. Uh, he's in a man-on-man -man situation. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's all about your man beating the other man. And, man, that's definitely what happened on this play, Bo. <laughs> I'd be embarrassed if I was that defender. I ain't finna lie to you. I ain't finna lie to you. You see right there? Touchdown. Now, you know, Everybody knows my famous saying, if you're playing man coverage, if the man that you go out and go to the bathroom, you need to be there to hand him the toilet paper. <laughs> that definitely wasn't the case in this particular situation. Let's look at it from the pretty side. An emotion. That safety just couldn't get over in time, man. Just couldn't get over in time. So basically, as we can see here, running these multiple tight end sets is definitely beneficial, uh, especially in the red zone. And we know how well Matt Ryan works in the red zone. So I'm really thinking that with the skill set of a first round pick in, in Kyle Pitts and a first round pick talent in Hayden Hurst, there's no reason why these guys shouldn't wreck the league. I'm looking at at least the top seven offense this year. Now, look, man, I need y'all to let me know in the comments what y'all think about this comparison that I have to with Hayden Hurst and Kyle Pitts to being as good as Aaron Hernandez and Rob Gronkowski. I want y'all to tell me how you feel. Also, make sure you do a country boy a favor. Hit that subscribe button, man. It will make my heart jump for joy, and I promise you, I'll come and do the Uncle June bug at your wedding one day. <laughs>
<laughs> Look, man, y'all be easy. Don't do nothing that I would do. Rise up. A-Town down. Y'all stay safe.